Hi, welcome to Unit 1 of CIS 4115, Artificial Intelligence with Robotics. I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough of this unit and introduce you to the topics this week. Uh, so this week we're really going to do an introduction to artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence and some of the basic components of artificial intelligence. Um, so our objectives here are really to understand what artificial intelligence is, in particular what an intelligent agent is understand some basic terms here for artificial intelligence related to artificial intelligence, uh, understand what a finite state machine is, and make sure we're using uh, uh, Java IDE like NetBeans to an Eclipse and can download an assignment, update its code, and resubmit that assignment. So here's our uh, goals. You should be watching this video right now. Um, Hopefully you've reviewed the course material and um, what I want you also to do is watch this artificial intelligence uh, video. So Stanford uh, University created an online um, AI course a number of years ago and recorded all the videos and posted them to YouTube. Uh, so we're going to use that some of those courses in this um, course. So like here is unit zero, the introduction of the course, so you can watch that. So this is Peter Norvig and Sebastian Thun. These are two well-known AI researchers. Uh, Peter is actually one of the co-authors of the book, and Sebastian Thun uh, is a, a well, you'll see him a lot. He, he's now one of the head um, AI researchers at Google, in particular in Google's self-driving car uh, stuff. And so just watch this uh, first video, this introduction video, um, and then, uh, this, I, in most units, will have a playlist of their videos. Oops, sorry, went to the wrong one. This playlist for Unit 1, that was kind of a Unit 0 one. This is the playlist for Unit 1 uh, here. And uh, I suggest you jump, you watch the intro one. And then when we go through these, I'll try to highlight them uh, once uh, to certainly watch. And you're free to watch the rest, but sometimes these you know, can get long, and so you can kind of decide which ones to uh, to work with and watch. So, particularly, watch the introduction here, where they introduce what an uh, artificial agent is um, and how that works. And then this terminology, make sure you watch this fourth video, and he will go over a set of terms um, that we'll want to be familiar with. So he'll talk about fully versus partially observable, deterministic versus, versus stochastic, um, discrete versus continuous, and uh, benign uh, versus adversarial. So those will be those. So, so understand those things. Now, the rest of the uh, videos, I'll go over that. So what he does is talk about, uh, have different questions and answers, talk about checkers, and how checkers fits into this, poker, uh, a robotic car, and, and things like that and, and tries to go over some of the different ideas uh, and concepts of these. Um, he also gets into a philosophical question with the Chinese translation uh, question uh, and we'll get to that later but again that's not key to this course. Mainly you just want to make sure you understand what those uh, terms are that are covered in this uh, fourth uh, video for this unit. Okay, so that's the, you watched the intro to the course and then got, I watched enough of that so you understand those terms. And again, those are the same terms that are described uh, or listed up here. And those may appear in a future quiz, so that's one of the reasons you want to uh, cover those. Um, and again, make sure from unit one, uh, zero that you have NetBeans or Eclipse installed. Uh, and then you'll be using those in the participation activities here. Now, um, the AI course uh, talks about a basic introduction to artificial intelligence, but I want to build on what Stanford does a little bit. First, I want to point you to some other resources out there. So, um, Peter Norvig and Sebastian Thun originally recorded this first intro to AI course, and then Sebastian Thun went on to, with a group of others, to found a free MOOC or online courses called Audacity 
And so uh, some of that material has been moved there and there's a new updated version of the course there. We're not using those videos directly because you have to sign in and create a login to view those and things like that. They're free to, for you to use, um, but we're not going to use them directly in this course. Uh, but again, you can go here, um, create a login, and um, start this course, which is a, a nice course to go through. Um, and again, I, we pull some resources from that and, and a couple other courses. Another nice course out there is this University of Berkeley's Intro to AI course uh, that's out there. Um, and Dan and Peter uh, have an interesting co uh, video out there. And they can introduce you and go over that. So that's an interesting course to watch if you're interested in following more materials. And then there's a more advanced course on machine learning uh, from Stanford also. So these are now, it, we'll also point you to one more when we get more into uh, some parts of robotics. There's an advanced Audacity course on AI with self-driving cars and robots, and we'll deal with some with that. So again, these are just optional materials uh, that are out there and free for everyone to use. So if you're interested in continuing, especially after this course is done, uh, these are some resources to do. Similarly, there are some nice overviews of what artificial intelligence is um, and how it's set up. Um, there's different definitions of what artificial intelligence are, and I'm not going to give you a set definition here. I think we all have a basic idea of what artificial intelligence is. Uh, but throughout this course, we'll be kind of learning more about that and what we mean by intelligence, what we mean by artificial um, programming, learning, uh, and that sort of setup. Um, but if you're interested in looking at this, there's some nice uh, introduction to AI stuff here to kind of get you thinking about that. But one thing I will talk a little bit about is some of the false promises of AI. Um, over the years, uh, researchers have always been saying that we're just, you know, we're five years away of thinking machines and our machines can talk to us or translate us and or, you know, do, any, do all this sort of stuff. In fact, here's some quotes from 1956. You know, machines would be capable within 20 years of doing any work a man can do in 1967. Within a generation, the problems of, of creating artificial intelligence will be substantially solved. And again, this is Marvin Minsky. The, he, you know, he's still around today uh, working on these problems. And Wikipedia has a whole list of these infamous optimistic quotes. And even today, we're, we are thinking we're making a lot of progress and things are, are changing very quickly with AI, especially in the last five to 10 years. And so it looks like this might actually be be the case. But again, we've been making these claims for for over 50 years. So a, a lot of us are in the field are, are are optimistic, but a little hesitant also because we've been here before, uh, you know. And so we'll we'll hopefully uh, there'll be progress made in artificial intelligence. Um, to get you kind of thinking and do some fun things with artificial intelligence, I collected just a list of some of the popular movies and other media out there that have artificial intelligence in there. Uh, so again, none of these are just required, but if you're looking for something to do during the duration of this course, uh, these are some interesting movies that explore different ideas and in artificial intelligence uh, in different ways. Oops, my video just stopped updating. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so there's some different ideas and links. Uh, to see. Often these are just links for trailers, but if you have access to like Netflix or some other uh, media for, for viewing these movies, uh, there's some really neat movies out there. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the artificial intelligence debate that has been going on over the decades. Um, so different philosophers, AI researchers, futurists uh, have thought a lot about artificial intelligence in the year over the years and come to different conclusions. So Roger Pemrose has argued uh, against um, artificial intelligence and about the fact that it's going to be algorithmic and will never going to succeed. So he says things like with thought comprising a non-computational element, computers can never do what human beings can. Um, on a more positive things, Hans Moravik uh, says that 
Although today's machines are simple creations requiring parental care and hovering attention, uh, within the next century, we'll, they will mature to complex, as complex as ourselves and eventually into something that transcends everything we know. Uh, but on the more negative side, uh, Dreyfus uh, thinks uh, and pro proposes that human intelligence relies on an unconscious instinct and is not symbolic thought, and thus uh, our realm is not in the realm of computers. Um, Ray Kurzweil, uh, he's still uh, making a number of statements now and has uh, interest, very interesting books. In fact, you can visit his website or his, watch his material here. Um, and he says by 2019, a $1,000 personal computer will have such as much raw power as a human brain. Now, we're getting pretty close to that 2019 uh, step here, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, the philosopher John Searles, argued about the Chinese room argument. This is a well-known argument. And the proposition is that if you have a person locked in a room um, and with some books and instructions on how to translate uh, Chinese um, into English, they can uh, do that even though they, but that doesn't mean they necessarily understand Chinese or understand uh, English. If they're just looking up the information in a Chinese to English dictionary or something like that. That doesn't mean they understand anything. They're just doing symbol manipulation and that's not intelligence. Uh, now a lot of people will also argue that to do real translation you must understand a lot more than simple uh, symbol manipulation and we'll get to that when we get to the language segment. So finally a couple of big questions on intelligence that uh, we'll be just peeking at as we go through this course and you can keep in mind you know what what is intelligence what is the relationship between the mind and the brain uh, some philosophers uh, keep a very strong distinction between the mind and the brain the physical brain and the, the mental capacity of the mind consciousness you know are animals conscious can a machine be conscious what is consciousness um, now, are all, is all human behavior simply a result of this chemical-physical interaction, or can we replicate it artificially? Uh, can machines have emotions? And some of this will actually be tied to uh, animals, because sometimes we look at animals and uh, try to emulate those. Similarly, can, do animals have rights? Do machines, will machines have rights at some point? Uh, do machines, robots, animals have souls? So these are some of the deep questions that we uh, brush as we're going through artificial intelligence and we look at them. So we won't deal too much of these, but again, it just gets you thinking as we uh, kind of look at self-learning machines and information like that. Okay, um, I'll have another video here for this participation activity and another video for the uh, assignment one. So make sure you watch those videos as we go. Those are the main things you have to do with this. the participation activity. You'll be posting the discussions. Remember the discussions are over here, but they'll also be linked in uh, right there. Will be a link to the discussion areas also. Okay, that's an overview from for this unit.